Uh, every year when the uh, Oscar nominations come out, some magazine or newspaper <coughs> prints a list of the top ten conservative movies. I don't know why this is important to them. And like this list. Are there ten? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, there's, that's there's many. Uh, like miracle. Saving Private Ryan, which is my favorite movie, by the way, something I have in common with George Bush. We have the same favorite movies. I don't know why that's a, a, a conservative movie. Black Hawk Down, The Killing Fields, Chariots of Fire. Mm. I thought that was a gay movie. Um, <laughs> Zulu, Master and Commander. Rocky. So, okay, here are the runners up. <laughs> wink, wink, bit coming. Uh, of the list of the movies that conservatives love and why. Philadelphia. <laughs> A Hollywood liberal gets AIDS and dies. <laughs> Taxi driver. A teenage girl makes her own money instead of relying on government handouts. <laughs> E.T. An alien here illegally gets rounded up and sent home. <laughs> Jaws. People who vacation on Martha's Vineyard get eaten by a shark. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> a man who enjoys freedom <laughs> refuses to let elites from the federal government tell him what he can and cannot eat. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the birth of the Tea Party. That's not cool. <laughs> and Rosemary's baby. She could have had an abortion, but she didn't. 